Welcome to the next segment in LA Sanitation and Environment's composting series. In this segment, we will be discussing what composting is, its, its history, compostable materials, and common composting methods. What is composting? Composting is just nature's way of recycling organic material. Organic material being plant and animal material and their waste. Composting has been occurring on Earth ever since the first organisms emerged and died approximately 3 to 4 billion years ago. Humans have been composting since about 10,000 BCE when composting began in the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in modern-day Middle East. Other prominent societies who have composted include the Greeks, Egyptians, Romans, societies in northern China and Scotland, and these societies would take their food waste from their cities out to their agricultural fields and plant it in order to fertilize the soil for the next crop season. So the reason why we should all compost is one, it saves money, it promotes soil fertility, reduces water consumption by helping control evaporation, and it also reduces our need for more landfills and reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Compostable materials are separated into two major categories. Your first category are your greens or your nitrogen containing materials. This includes items such as all paper coffee filters and tea bags, coffee grounds, eggshells, fruit peels, vegetable trimmings, grass and yard clippings, and livestock manure. Your second category is browns, which this is your carbon containing material. This includes items such as dried leaves, sawdust from your homeward working shop, wood chips, paper towels, as long as they're not contaminated with any fats, oils, or greases, shredded cardboard, and shredded paper. Shredded cardboard and shredded paper is great if you have delivery packages or junk mail, but a caveat with these two items is you want to ensure that they do not contain any brightly colored ink because brightly colored inks such as hot pink or neon green could contain heavy metals in the ink, which you do not want those in your compost. Now some items you do not want to compost include items such as bones, dairy, fatty foods, oils, greases, and meat. Not only will these materials go rancid before they compost, but they will also attract pests and other wildlife. You do also not want to put diseased plants in your compost bin because you do not want to run the risk of spreading the disease. Treated wood, this material is engineered not to break down and also could contain chemicals that you do not want in your compost bin. Weed seeds, while home composting does not get hot enough to kill weed seeds effectively. So please place these items in your city issued green bin. Dog or cat feces, you do not want to compost these items because they can potentially contain pathogens, parasites, or viruses. You do not want to place any compostable plastic, bioplastic, PLA into your compost bin as well. This material does not satisfactorily break down in a home composting bin. You do also not want to put compostable plastic into your city issued green bin because again our composting facilities do not get hot enough nor do they let the material sit long enough to effectively break down. Now we will discuss common methods of composting. The first common method is called slow and cold continuous composting, which as the name implies is a continuous composting process. This means that you continuously add material to the bin. So for example, if you're cooking dinner and you have some leftover lettuce or tomato, you may chop that material up and place it directly in the bin. This method is more convenient for people with busy lifestyles because you only check the moisture content of the bin once every two weeks and you turn the material in the bin about one to two times every two weeks. So it is less work, but the trade-off is it's a slower process and you get finished compost in about six months under ideal conditions. This slide depicts a cutaway of a slow and cold composting bin. As you can see, it contains your vegetable trimmings, fruit peels, grass clippings, wood chips and sawdust, and other compostable materials. 
as well as worms and other insects that will naturally migrate into the bin because we do advise that you place your bin on exposed soil. And as you move further down to the bottom of the bin, the material starts to further break down and resemble finished compost. In our next segment, we will continue discussing common composting methods, and we will also answer some frequently asked questions about home composting. For more information about home composting, please visit the LA Sanitation and Environment website at lacitysan.org.